Okay, quick video today on the way I polish my liners in order to get the best accuracy out of them. I have shot and shot thousands of rounds through liners without polishing the liner first. And I'm going to be one of those annoying YouTubers who will tap on things and tap on things the entire time. That I'm going to be doing this. All right, so we're going to adjust the camera and screw with your eyes because that's what I like to do. So the first thing we're going to use today is this right here, JB Bore Cleaner. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. Anyways, I don't have any special uh, equipment for filming. I'm not buying any. Don't care. So what we're going to do with that? Is we're going to um, use one of these patches. This is a three foot long uh, shish kebab stick. You can buy them on Amazon fairly cheap. Buy a whole package of them, you'll love them. So, what we're going to do here is we're just going to put a little bit of that JB4 paste on there. See if I can do this, keep it in, sh in shot. I've had a couple of people ask me how I get good accuracy out of some of these liners that a lot of people say they're no good and I know a lot of people are being told that they need to uh, shoot them in you know I've tried that doesn't work sorry if you're not the proper type of fanboy <laughs> so anyways what we're gonna do is the shish kebab stick as you can see I just simply split it and depending on what caliber you're working with you might need to sand the end down after you split it with a razor blade watch your fingers and your toes so you put that in there and you just start letting it well, it's not really showing very good um, there's no really way to focus it but anyways if it will follow the lands and grooves in the rifling. So what I'm going to do here today is, is I've shoved it all the way out to the end of the, the bore here. And we're going to go ahead and make so we know where that's at. Now, does that show up on camera or do I need to use black? If I need to use black, I'm dead because my bench is a mess. So anyways, what I do is, you can kind of see right here, this is a mark. So I'm moving about two inches, and you can see by the direction of my finger how it's just kind of moving with the rifling. This is just a STX barrel in 25 caliber that I'm using for an example. Um, this is what came in my... 25 caliber anyways so if you're using 30 or 25 caliber you won't have to neck this rod down at all so anyways so I go in all the way and I mark it to give myself a reference and then I will go another two inches and give that 10 or 15 pumps let's call it probably not the right and bring it back two or three inches. I'm not going to go completely through this entire polishing process and then you're going to bring it back another two inches and you're going to let it sit there and follow those lands and grooves and you're going to just now I clean this liner prior to doing this one step and so you're not going to you're going to be able to see how much material not having it shimmed properly is going to give you in just a short period of time it's uh, fairly remarkable so that's the JB bore cleaner um, so the first thing you're gonna do is follow the same process uh, with the you know go through and then you're gonna want to use a clean patch Go ahead and grab a clean patch and put that on there and use your ballast doll. You can even use um, 
is it uh, JB Bore Cleaner? No, excuse me, Tops. When your liner is out of your rifle, you can use Hops number nine. Okay, that's a um, it's a lead and uh, a lead and and copper remover to clean your bore. So clean your bore and then dry mop it in between using your different products. See if I can get a picture of that. It's split right here and you take that and just wind that around. All right. And then you put it in here. Now I have the right fit and that's a little bit going in a little bit harder. So I forgot to put anything on those patches, but hey, that's a dummy, I'm not a YouTuber type of thing. But anyways, you get the idea. The next thing you're going to use is JB, JB Bore Bright, Bore Bright, Bore Bright. There's the annoying YouTuber who taps on things and drives you crazy. All right, the next thing you use is the JB Bore Bright. All right, so you use that. You use it in the same way. You go in and you polish at two in two inch increments. You cannot screw up your barrel using this method because this is a bamboo stick. It is not going to hurt your stainless liner in any way. You start from the back end. The uh, breech end is what we're going to call it. Back where the pellet or slug is inserted by the um, transfer port and you're going to work out to the tip. The only thing that I do is when I get out to the tip of the barrel or the choke of the barrel, especially if I'm going to leave it a pellet shooter, I do not polish the last inch and a half of the barrel very good. If I'm going to solely, if it's a superior heavy slug liner, I don't worry about it. I polish the entire liner. That's the only exception that you'll have to worry about. So after you get done with the JB Borbright, get that into focus. After you get done polishing with the JB Borbright, you can use Ballastol or you, you can use Hops, like I said, and clean the barrel again. Now, this is something that a buddy of mine turned me on to that's quite a bit finer than your JB Borbright, and we'll uh, get that in focus for you. Now, you want to make sure that you always stir this stuff up extremely well every time you use it because it really settles and separates, but it's awesome stuff. And then you're going to wet your patch and go all the way in 